What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So, I have an emergency that came up today, so we're going to be trying to get a quick video out, and it's actually going to be a pretty fun one. We're going to be rolling a lens ribbon with a 100,000 Kuba. After I made that video the other day about saying, hey, these are outdated corpus weapons that could get a le uh, lich upgrade, I was thinking lens is number one. And looking at how the Kuva Brahma has literally doubled the damage of the lens, it, I think it's honestly on the horizon. So I'm going to speculate. I bought a lens ribbon. We're going to roll it. And I have a special uh, method of making sure you get a good roll now. The previous ribbon rolling videos have all been really bad. I don't think we actually ended any of the ribbon videos with a, with a better roll. You just got to go and you got to tickle DE a little bit. Go over to the market and buy something with plat right before you start rolling ribbons. So I'm actually almost out of boosters. Let's refresh our 30-day resource booster. Now that we show DE, we're going to give them money. The ribbon should potentially be a little bit better. All right, so let's get started. We have 106,000 Kuba. Of course, make sure you are subbed to the YouTube channel and all that YouTuber stuff before we hop in. So, as far as stats I want on here, basically just good stuff, you know. Um, plus, Toxin would be nice since the Kuba or the Tenant Lens will probably have low dispo. So, having Elemental on there will technically let you replace a mod slot. Um, things that are not good are obviously like plus minus damage minus crit damage all that kind of terrible stuff So let's get into the first roll here and we will commentate on how terrible this is along the way So thankfully I spent 200 plat in the market to get this complete garbage ribbon We've got damage when infested ammo and plus electric. It's actually probably better than we already have so I'm gonna go with this But yikes, they're both really really bad. Let's go to the second roll Now the lens does have extremely high base crit chance so if we can increase that even more that would be hilarious I believe plus punch through does ruin the lens as the the rocket arrows go through walls now with that much punch through and it will not do anything. So probably not going to take that one, although plus toxin is pretty nice. So lots of stats on AOE weapons like this you don't really want. Like I'm probably not going to go for punch through um, just because like it kind of feeds the purpose of the weapon. Minus damage to Grenier, unfortunately. We have multi-shot and weapon recoil. So pretty much just a multi-shot mod right there. We'll take that because the other one was really, really bad. So, yep, spending all that plat, getting all that garbage. Good stuff here. I don't think the lens even has any recoil, even if you were to, like, even try to find it. So, yeah, what we got here? Okay, so this one, oh. If, if they switch the weapon recoil around with the crit chance, that would actually be kind of okay. Um, but, yeah, that one's pretty bad, as the lens does have base cold as well. If we get a, a uh, Corpus Lich version of the lens, you probably have base viral? That sounds pretty decent. So we could actually go all into... To, HM procs after that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is um, this is looking like a, a ribbon rolling video from Gaz. Definitely. Um, pretty much everything's been terrible. Crit chance, electric, projectile speed. Uh, yeah, about that. Not looking too hot right now. But hey, you know what? Maybe maybe DE has finally seen the rant videos and cursed my account with bad ribbon RNG. Which I, I'd take that as a victory, honestly, because they got to see the they got to see the rant videos. Hopefully, they understand that some people have problems with the game. And ooh, what we got here? This looks pretty good. Crit chance, status chance, heat plus recoil. Now the lens has a five percent status chance, but you'd really hope that they bump it up once the uh, tenant lens comes out. So we're actually going to go with this one um, because it has. I mean, it's not like a bad thing. Heat could be better. It makes us have base blast damage. Or actually, I think that would just go all into blast. Interesting. So we'll take that for now. Definitely could get a little bit better than that. We're going to go all in with this Kuba. Because I, I bought this ribbon for the purposes of going all in. And that's what we get rewarded with for keep, keeping on going. we got plus impact, plus zoom, minus ammo. If you don't remember, the lens has a very low ammo pool. This might be one of the worst ribbons I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah. I mean, it, actually, it could be minus damage, technically. So that that's really... <laughs> Are we ever going to get a good ribbon from these videos is the question. Are we? That one's basically the exact same. <laughs> Minus stash duration, plus reload, plus impact. I, I, I actually don't think we're ever going to get a good ribbon from this. I've been rolling ribbons for like for like five years, and it's been the same the entire time. Oh man, this is almost a really good one. If that impact was like crit chance or something, I would take this ribbon in a heartbeat. Because it's got plus Grenier. Grenier at some of the tankiest factions usually. Got crit damage. If only that was not... Plus impact. Man, we, we almost had it. I really don't like taking ribbons with heat on them, unfortunately. So we might be trying to get rid of this one sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah. All right, someone someone needs to give me a cow at the end 
how many plus impact and ammo rolls I've gotten. I feel like I've gotten at least three. And we're only 13 rolls in. <laughs> oh, man. Don't do what I'm doing. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Whoa! Oh, man, it's got plus cold on it, though. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're taking that one for sure. Multi-shot uh, multi crit damage. Cold minus impact. If that was crit chance, multi-shot crit damage minus impact, oh, man. I am so taking this. The multi-shot's a little bit low. I feel like the multi-shot could be a lot higher, but, like, that's a good ribbon right there. That's a keepable ribbon. We're going to keep going for the next 70k Kuba, though, because we have problems. Um, okay, there you go. Minus 133% damage, just in case you, uh, you know, found a way to get damage still out of that. Oh, so much plus impact. This is why a ribbon stat lock would be nice. Like, I would love to, um... Maybe lock in the minus impact, because that would mean I'm not going get, to be getting plus impact at any of the ribbons going forward. Um, or maybe I could lock in the multi-shot. Like, I'm always going to have multi-shot on there. What do we have here? We have multi-shot and cold and heat with minus infested. With, now, see, when, when this weapon has 0.5 disposition, this might be pretty good, as that is going to give you two, two elementals. I'm not, I'm not really seeing me going... I'm not going to be really going for heat and cold combined, though, so we're going to stick with the actual good one we have, which I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> All the complaining paid off. That, hey, that's that's because I spent that 200 plat in the market, I'm telling you. You can't prove me wrong. All the other ribbon rolling videos, I did not spend 200 plat in the market before rolling, okay? It's the ancient secret. It, it, it gives you impact on the, all the other rolls that aren't the good. So we even got impact on the good one. We got minus impact. So, yeah, we're about 21 rolls in here. Losing our sanity by the second. Oh man, Really? Has every single roll had impact on it in some way? <laughs> Alright, if we switch those around, man, I would have taken that, but... We are cursed by impact. Shattering impact for guns, windy. <laughs> alright, alright, let's keep going here. Let's quit being a goofball. Uh, multi-shot. Yeah, we got a really low multi-shot roll on our ribbon that we have right now. But it's whatever. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse in the course of this video recording. <laughs> Um, alright. Hopefully I don't accidentally click on the wrong one, because that would be really sad. Alright, hey, there's no impact on this one. It, it might be a terrible ribbon, but it doesn't have impact on it, so I, I will, t I will, I will not be too mad about that. Rest in peace, my Kuba. Alright, what we got? We cold and infested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. I really wish this didn't have cold on it, but hey, it might technically just save us a mod slot in the future, I, I guess. Probably not, though. Uh, damage projectile speed, okay. Now, Midas Magazine would be very good on here, just because it, it's a it's a bow with one in the magazine, so who even cares? Another godly plus impact roll with recoil, just to make sure. You want to make sure you hit those targets with that impact damage. Basically turn the lens into a sniper. Uh, we got Corpus and Punch Through. All right, it's going to be hard to beat this, to be honest, thankfully. Um, but hey, maybe. Maybe we get really, really lucky. We could replace that cold with... Uh, with crit chance, maybe get a higher uh, multi-shot percentage. And of course not. Why would you ever even think that would happen, you fool? Yeah, so plenty of videos coming out the next week, guys. Uh, we are still sticking to the daily upload schedule. Um, I'm just trying to, I want to make sure they're all interesting, too. Like, I, I don't want to, like, turn into, like, oh, yeah, just putting out videos because I agreed to do that. Yikes, this ribbon. Um, I want, I want to make sure, like, they're still interesting, so... I do appreciate everyone that watches the videos, comments on the videos, engages with the videos, and watches my ribbon suffering because, yeah, apparently we just can't get better than this. Hey, you know, it's pretty good, though. This is the last roll. Um, still a pretty good ribbon. Um, I, I, yeah. Let, let's see. Let's, so let's, let's level it up. We'll put it on the build. So we, we ended up with multi-shot, cold, crit damage, minus impact, which I was just, like, jumping for joy for because in these videos we usually get, like, Cold and cold and something terrible. Cold and range. I think that was like the, the Teco ribbon video from like months ago. That's what I ended up getting every single time. So can we even fit this mod on here right now? We'll take out Vile Acceleration just to, to see. So we get a increase to our crit damage from uh, 4.4 to 6.5. This is 82% multi-shot. So in Galvanized Chambers fully stacked up, we are over 300% multi-shot with an extra 82. And then the cold isn't really doing much. Uh, it, I mean, we do technically go up a lot in damage, so let's... We also took out Vile Acceleration, which might be part of this. You do need Fire Rate on this weapon, I'd say, uh, as the Fire Rate is... It's a bow, so Fire Rate really helps it out a lot. 
These could probably be upgraded to uh, 60 60s, these Prime Cryo rounds and stuff like that. Like, we could replace Rhyme with Prime Cryo, replace Malignant Force with Infected Clip. That'll give us more damage, and since we only have a 5% status chance, I think that would be actually more bang for our buck. So we can go to, we can go to the Simulacrum real quick and fire it off, because I know people want to see how the, the Ribbon actually performs in these videos. So we'll just quickly do that before we call it a video, okay? I really wish that was not cold. I'm going to be honest. I really wish that wasn't cold. Um, it will help us, you know, be more weighted into viral, but we already have minus impact, so the viral will be higher weighted anyway. So that's unfortunate. I'd give this Riven like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 uh, without even like really analyzing how high the stat rolls actually are. Um, I've, actually, I've definitely sold better rolls in the past. Let's just say that. I've actually had very good lens ribbons uh, previously that I've sold just because I'm like, oh, they didn't announce a corpus lens. So we'll get some butchers for galvanized stacks, then we'll uh, get some heavy gunners for just displaying the HM rocks. All right. And then we'll do exo goose drag officers. Those guys are slightly tankier. Exo officers. All right. I don't know if we have prime bay in the grenier. I didn't actually look at that. But it shouldn't be too bad. There's that awful fire rate. Yeah, you need to find a way to fit fire rate on here. So, 70k. Remember, galvanized aptitude should not be working on this thing, just because it's an AoE weapon. Hey, you know, not, not too bad. Of course, this is not an actual build you would run because of, you know, fire rate, but... Yeah, you know, it's, it's okay. The Brahma's better, but that's why we're waiting for a corpus version of this. And that's not even an HM proc. Okay, you have an 800 random slash proc on you. I mean, it, it's definitely a damage upgrade. I mean, you know, we're getting pretty big numbers here. Kind of. <laughs> Not really that big of... But everything is also an orange crit, which is kind of fun with the lens. 60k. You know, other weapons can definitely get higher slash procs. I'm like, my Cora Whipclaw does more slash procs than that, but... We're waiting on the, the upgraded version. Hope you guys found this video fun and helpful. I'll see you next time. Hopefully the tenant lens comes out in like a week or two. Uh, and yeah, Dev stream on the 28th, I think it is. Hopefully they announce some fun stuff there. Take it easy, guys. Peace.